Welcome to Blitz on Windstream Channel 4. I'm your host, Brian Carter, taking you a closer look at all your local high school sports in your area. We're going to start the show here at White County High School with Warriors baseball coach John Brown. Coach, we bother you a lot, get you on the show here a lot, but we always appreciate having you on the show, and we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, Coach, 17-3, and three, you got a great season going right now. 17-3, and 16-3 and three in region play. Uh, you're number seven in the state in the coaches poll in 3A baseball. A similar spot at this point to where you were last year. Uh, and keep in mind, that's in the, the ever-tough Region 8 AAA, one of the toughest, if not the toughest, in the state. Uh, how proud are you of your team for going 17-3 and three in one of the toughest regions in the state of Georgia? So far, it's been real pleasing. Uh, our kids have really played well, uh, but it is a tough region. Yeah, with, like I told you earlier, you can go from first to fifth real quick. It's, we got five more ball games, and we're looking forward to get as high as we can in the seating going into the state playoff. Now, Coach, 17-3, and three, that's still remarkable, but when you look back at the schedule, you notice that you could very easily right now be 19-1. and one. There was one game, I believe, you got shut out by Franklin County, but then you have two losses there on the table. Uh, Lumpkin County, they've been a spoiler this year by beating uh, White County and then also Gainesville, two state-ranked teams. And then on top of that, you lost uh, your opener this season against North Hall, North Hall. blowing a six-run, I believe it was a six-run lead late in the game. Talk about those two losses and, and how, uh, I guess, your perspective on losing those. Yeah, it was tough to lose the first ball game uh, uh, to North Hall. Uh, they did come back and play well, and they've played really well all year. So they're, they're definitely a contender. and. Uh, and they're right there with us, and we got to do good every time we step out. Now, Lumpkin just scrapped with us that day, and uh, we just didn't hit the ball extremely well, and those kids from Lumpkin did a great job. And, uh, and of course, we're losing to Franklin, and the boy pitched a no-hitter against us, and he was just – he did it lights out that day for us. And So we get one more shot at, at uh, Lumpkin and one more at Franklin, so – I guess we want them. <laughs> get, get revenge on them. You got a chance at it. Uh, Coach, now last year when we had you on the show for, uh, for baseball, I asked you this question about uh, is it the time to win now? And last year you had just one senior on the team. You were bringing back most of the team for this year. Now, you, I mean, you got to feel more so now. And I believe last year you said it still was a win now attitude for the team, regardless of bringing the guys back. But this year you got Luke Crumley, you got David Sosby. You got uh, Adam Hooper, Hayden Cummins, all those guys, a bunch of seniors on the team. All your star players are seniors. You got to have that win attitude now, right? Correct. Uh, we have six seniors, and ones you named, along with Kyle Mills and Bo Medlock, have really produced this year for us uh, on the mound. And the kids have really hit lately. Uh, Bo Medlock is really hitting the ball real well now. Um, you're right, uh, but we got to win now. And. Uh, so, uh, yep, I'm, I'm looking forward to this season and I'm, the rest of this season. And uh, hopefully we'll do well the rest of it. And hopefully we'll finish close to the top, hopefully if, if not the top. But it, it's going to be tough the rest of the way. We play today. We play a Coney, and they're a very good ball club. And uh, we're looking forward to playing them. But uh, we're going to have to play well to beat them. Now, Coach, uh, you've won a few state titles back, uh, back in the state of Florida when you coached down there, 78-79 um, and then 1990 few state titles that's pretty impressive you come up here now this is a team that that's legit and it looks like it could be a state contending team for sure no doubt um, I, I'm not gonna ask you to compare those teams because I know that's difficult to compare two completely different teams but what about this team at White County I guess reminds you or seems reminiscent of those championship teams well we've got two outstanding players on this team and those two of those years that we played I, we won in Florida. They had two outstanding players, and and when you have the top quality of players that we have this year, and especially on the mound with David and Luke, uh, they definitely give you a boost. And that's you know, comparison-wise, that's the type of kids we had. Uh, we hit the ball extremely well in Florida. This year, we've uh, we've hit the ball extremely well. We've hit. Uh, this team's uh, trying to beat the softball girls. Uh, they had a bet uh, who's going to hit the most home runs, and uh, yeah, they're is, they're at saying? 40. They're at 41 right now, and the girls hit 46 for all the way through the state tournament. So we got five more games. So I don't know. We're hitting pretty well. We're as a team, we're hitting over 300, and we'll knock on some wood, and hopefully we continue to do that. Uh, uh, that's what was what we're going to do. But basically, it's going to come down to pitching and defense, and and uh, not hitting home runs. But uh, hopefully, we continue to hit the ball. Well, Coach Brown, always a pleasure having you on Blitz. We always appreciate it, and we're going to be cheering you on the rest of the way into the state playoffs. Appreciate it, Brian. And don't take your eyes off the TV. When we come back, we're going to have UGA-bound senior star David Sosby on Blitz. <laughs> 